Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. It is Saturday, June 8th, 2024. I start off by putting a five in one of two places in box three, row three, based on the relative positions of the fives in rows one and two. In the next rows, uh, four, nine, three, seven, two, six, eight, one. I have no repeats. In the bottom rows, I'm gonna get a seven, but one, six, two, nine, three, four, otherwise, I'm done. Okay, if I look by columns, uh, four is actually placed in column three, based on where they are in one and two, and the four in row nine, looking left, ruling one of the positions out, and another position already being ruled out by the given one. That means one of those two is a four. Uh, switching back to columns two, nine, three, eight, five, one, otherwise, so I'm done. In the middle columns, I'm gonna get a seven in column five. Uh, beyond that, I've got six, three, five, nine, one, two. That's all I get. And on the right, I get three, seven, two, four, eight, six, once a piece, so I'm done. Okay, well, actually, there's a crossing on eight in box one. The eight in column two looks up, and the eight in row three looks left. Three of the five spaces are out. The ones left are in the top, so those are eight. Those are eight. Okay, I need one, six, seven, eight, nine. For the rest of box one, those are one, six, seven, nine. Neither can be eight. This is anything but nine. That's anything but one. Okay, I have no help. Do I have a crossing on, yes, I have a crossing on six in box five. Those two in this are ruled out, so those are six, which implies those are six. All right, well, one of these can't be eight. If this is not eight, then I've got a six, seven pair in column five, box two, but I can't quite prove that yet. Okay, these aren't eight, but this could be. These aren't four, but that could be. So, this is four or eight. Those could be four. These could be eight. One, two, seven, nine. I need three, four, five, six, eight. Those can't be three or four. So, these are five and six. Uh, that's not six. Uh, this can't be five or six, but could be three. That one can't be three, six, or eight. This is four or five. This one could be just about anything except eight. I've got three on a diagonal, four on a diagonal, and everything on a diagonal. I don't have much help, do I? Okay, these are not, well, actually, that's a hidden triple here. These cells in dark maroon because not, none of them can be three, six, seven by box or one, five, nine by column. So they are two, three, you know, two, four, six. This has to be four. So those two are two and six. No, two and something else. Uh, this is not one, five, nine or three, seven, or six. Yeah, this is two and eight. With this being a four, this can't be eight or four. That's now a three. Okay, I've got four there, which means four's here but not there, so that's a four. And that's a four. And am I gonna get a lot of fours, I think? I got one of these two which I can't delineate any of just yet, and one of those two, which I can't delineate. But I need an eight in row five, none of those can be, so that must be. This is now a triple. This is one, five, nine, that has to be nine, and these are one and five. Okay, which means nine's rule out of those two in column three. I've got one, four, five, nine, eight now in box four. Uh, one, four, five, eight, nine, so I need two, three, six, and seven. Two must go here. Mm, 
Okay, this is 267. This is any of them. That's 367. That's 6 or 7 only because that can't be 2 or 3. Well, that's not helpful. I don't have 7, 2 in row 6 or 4. All I can do is eliminate both out of the cell, which is no help, and 486 is already rolled out of those twice. Okay, in box 6, I've got 3, 4, 6, 8. I need 1, 2, 5, 7, 9. None of those are 1. And this can't be 2 or 7. This is down to 5 or 9. That's any of the rest, though. These aren't 9, but it could be any of the rest. Oofta. Okay, I've got 1 in 2 spots. And nothing else useful that comes to mind. Uh, row 8 looks promising. 1, 2, 4, 6 are taken. So I need 8. Along with 3, 5, 7, 9. Okay, none of these are 7, 8. Those aren't 9. This is an 8 or 3. That's not 3 or 7. 2 thirds of a 3, 5, 9 in box 9. I don't have anything else to go with, do I? Okay, these aren't 2, 4, 7. These aren't 2, 4, 7 either. Okay. None of those are 8. That's not 6. This can't be 9 or 6 or 8. Or 3 by row, actually. Well, this 1, 5 doesn't interact with any of the other 1, 5s. But, uh, well, actually... The easiest way to see where 8 goes in column 7 is look at those two 8s in columns 8 and 9. So the 8 in, col in row 9 places the 2 8 in column 8, which means that's not 8. This is now a 3 5 9 triple. So these two must be 7 8, and that's the only space for an 8. So 8 and 7 are placed. This is now not 8, which is key because that's a 6 7 pair as I expected, but I needed to prove it. Uh, that places 8 in box 1. Okay, 1, 4, 7, 8, 9. Okay, these are 5 and 6 down here, and I know the order thanks to the 5 in column 3. Those two are 2 and 3, both of which have given digits looking at it. 6, 9 makes that 7. This can't be 7 or 6 by pair, so that's a 1, 5, this is 2, that's a 3, this isn't, clean this up, 6, 7 are placed in column 5, the 6 in row 3 places the 6, 9 in column 2, I've got 1 down here, okay, neither of those are 1 or 3, this is a 3, 5, 9 in box 9 placing the 6, one is placed in box six. Okay, one of those is two. That doesn't tell us anything useful. In box six. Let's see. This is five, nine, and something. And one. And this is five, nine, and one. Those are one, five, nine. Both of them, and... So I've got a 159 triple in box 8 and row 7 interacting with each other, none of which can be disambiguated yet. Okay, row 3. I should be on the home stretch. Uh, 26789. I need 1345. This is down to 1 or 4. Can't be 3 or 5. That one can't be 3. This one can't be 3 or 4. Okay, that's 1 or 5, and this can't be 1 or 4, so that's 3 or 5. Okay, that's not helpful. Okay, 4, 5, 6, 7. I need 1, 2, 3, 8, 9 for the rest of row 2. And none of these are 8. None of those are 1. This isn't 2 or 3. 
That's not two, and that's not three, and that's no help. And the last row one better give me some clues. I've got one, three, four, five, eight filled in. I need... Well, actually, yes, it does. I need to place a six and seven in row one, two of which are ruled out by the six, seven looking up in column five. Those two must be six, seven. And in fact, I know the order of the digits. So these two are two and three, and the two in column six... No, 2 and 9, and the 2 in column 6 will tell me the order. Okay, let's see. This isn't 2 or 9, and this isn't 9. I know, but 1, 3, 4, 8, and that's a quad. That's not helpful. Okay, uh, let's see. 9 in column 6 places the 5 and the 1 and the 9, which will sort out... Just about everything on the bottom third of the grid, not quite. Seven. These aren't one. Okay, the middle columns are down to perfectly chocolate teapots of quads. But the six in column one that's disambiguated row four will basically sort out the rest of it. One, eight. Five, three, at this point I should be filling in digits. Nine, nine, three, two, nine, two, five, there we go, and 11 minutes 40. I'll take it, that's an excellent time. Yeah, the key here was the hidden two, four, eight, triple, column five. The rest of it was fairly straightforward.